Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Are there any nutritional supplements that can actually help reduce the risk of breast cancer? Well, there is some very compelling evidence for vitamin D, vitamin B12 and folic acid, the uh, curcumin, which comes from the spice turmeric, and also a form of vitamin E known as vitamin E succinate. I would say that's where the evidence is strongest. So let's sort of work through these a little bit. For vitamin D, we know that breast cells have vitamin D receptors. When vitamin D stimulates those receptors, it slows down the rate at which the cells are dividing. When cells are dividing more slowly, there's less chance that cancer is going to occur. There's fewer genetic mutations. Vitamin D also helps the new, the new breast cells that are forming become fully mature adult cells. And the more mature looking a cell is, the less prone it is to becoming a cancer cell. We also see that higher blood levels of vitamin D have been linked with a lower risk of developing breast cancer. And some recent clinical trials where they've given women vitamin D supplementation, particularly to reduce the risk of osteoporosis, as another finding, what we call subgroup analysis, we saw that you know, cancer rates were much lower in the group that got the vitamin D, including uh, breast cancer. So there's very good evidence for vitamin D. You want to try to get your blood level above 85 nanomoles per liter. For vitamin B12 and folic acid, well, they're required. It was, as new cells are replicating, as cells are dividing from one generation to the next, they have, to, they have to be able to duplicate their DNA, their genetic material. And you need B12 and folic acid to do that. And so we see that when levels of B12 and folic acid are lower, um, breast cancer risk tends, tends to be higher. And the other thing is that folic acid is also depleted by alcohol consumption. We know that alcohol is linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. We think that might be one of the ways. So because we see low blood levels of B12 and folic acid associated with breast cancer, probably a good idea to be taking a multivitamin that contains the right amount of B12 and folic acid each day as part of the preventative program. Now the, the natural agent known as curcumin, it's from the spice turmeric, uh, the, re, the, we, the reason we think it's helpful is because in 40% of all breast cancer, there's a genetic component where the woman is making breast cancer cells. On the surface, there are these receptors. They're called the HER2 receptors. And there's so many of them, they sort of bang into each other, and they cause the cell internally to keep dividing at a faster and faster rate. For women that develop breast cancer that, that have the HER2 mutation, they give them a drug called Herceptin that tries to destroy those receptors. But that drug is a very tough drug to to have on an ongoing basis, so you can't use it for prevention. The question scientists have had is, are there any natural agents that can silence those receptors <clears throat> so they don't tell the cell to divide so, off, so fast? When you slow down the rate at which cells divide, there's, there's less of a chance cancer will occur, and they know that. So as they looked at all the natural compounds and the different drugs that are available, what they stumbled across is the fact that curcumin uh, is the greatest agent to be able to silence those receptors. And there's been some other studies in people that have a, a high risk for colon cancer that have a similar genetic problem. It's been able to decrease some of the cancerous changes that occur in colon cells. So there's optimism, op great optimism here. The other thing is that curcumin blocks the synthesis of some of the, the types of hormones in the cells called prostaglandin series 2 that causes cells to divide too quickly. So you're also slowing down the rate of cell division. Anytime you slow down the rate of cell division, you decrease the risk cancer will occur. So curcumin on two levels is able to do that. Now I like to combine curcumin with other natural anti-inflammatories that slow down the rate of cell division with boswellia, white willow bark extract, and ginger with the curcumin all sort of in one supplement. That's sort of my best advice on that. And then you need a multivitamin that has vitamin E succinate at about 400 IUs a day. Vitamin E succinate is the most cancer preventative form of vitamin E according to all the preclinical studies that we have. It helps, just like vitamin D, it, it silences those HER2 receptors that cause the cells to divide too quickly so you can slow down the rate of cell division. Experimentally, we see that if breast cancer cells are developing, vitamin E can help, that form of vitamin E can help the cells commit suicide, what we call apoptosis programmed cell death. It also blocks the cells from being able to make blood vessels that they need to feed themselves. We call this anti-angiogenesis. And it activates the death receptors on cancer cells so that the immune cells can kill the cancer cells more effectively. 
and there's other features. My point is that only vitamin E succinate, that form of vitamin E, has been shown to have all of these properties in the preclinical and experimental data that we have. So the question is, what dosages should I be taking of all of this? I've got that all laid out for you in, in my program that's called 10, the 10 Step Breast Cancer Prevention Program, which you should be downloading immediately because it's available right here. Um, and you know, supplements are not the only thing that you should do to help reduce your risk of breast cancer. To see all the strategies, download the 10 Step uh, Breast Cancer Prevention Program. It's all there for you right at this site. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other published uh, research papers, review articles, footage from my live professional seminars, downloads, other resources, all of which are there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Not just alive with a heartbeat, but I mean functional as the years go by. My review articles and all my teaching materials come complete with all the scientific references that will ensure that you're getting only evidence-based, sound scientific information on each health topic that you're seeking. So be sure to use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for both you and your family if you're looking up any health or wellness information. Thanks so much for watching.